Georgia Saints men's basketball coach Jimmy Patos in studio. Thanks to All Star Wine and Spirits. You guys dropped your conference opener last night. Does that suck, man? Not Tri- conference opener. Triple overtime. Triple overtime. Hey, you get to play more basketball. It was a great. It, it was, wasn't your conference opener. I screwed that up. It was not. We 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 opened in no December. We won it. We won oh, against yeah, Manhattan. Lost against St. Peter's. Beat Niagara. Lost to Manhattan. Triple overtime. Um, we're, you know, what's funny is if you added up our scores, we'd be like up, you know, we're up like 50 points on the scores, but we're doing out the right way. We're, in other words, we lost by four at St. Peter's and in triple overtime by three, I guess. Um, Manhattan was a great, it was a great, I hate to say this, but I've said this all year. It's a, it was a great game. Like we had a great game and beat Loyola. We had a great game and beat Bucknell. We had a great game and beat Albany. We had a great game and lost to Manhattan. It was just a great game, a great game against St. Bonnie's. We've had five close games that were like unbel- six close games. We're four and two. You know, that's the way it goes. I'm not going to like hate my team or anything. We did <laughs> our energy. Was, no, we're four and, and like really, really, really close games. We're four and two. That's like really good at the college level. Right. It's just, you know, you get a little greedy. You'd like another one here or there. But I mean, last night was just a really good basketball game. We had a couple of chances to win it. Brett Bisping, our best player, had the pl- had the ball a couple of times, and the shots just didn't go. In other words, it wasn't like we got we did everything right. It's just the shots didn't go. And Javion Ogunyemi from Troy continues to be a great player. He had another double double, and we just you know we had a guy Levon Long probably play his, his most his least productive game. I won't say his worst game, but it was just in statistically and stuff. And we really needed him. And it was the first game of the year. I think he fouled out, and it just we needed them in a triple overtime game. We didn't win. They got they got the win. All right. So you go from there. You guys are two and two in conference in the MAC. Yep. Which uh, MAC team scares you the most? Oh, I think Iona because they're the defend. They, Manhattan Manhattan is the defending champ of the tournament. Iona is the defending league champion two years in a row. But Mom has got this thing going where they beat UCLA, they beat Notre Dame, they beat USC. Um, they, they, they're really tough. They got a kid, see, um, this Justin Robinson, who's just great. He's just this great little guard. And we have a great little guard, Marquise Wright, but he's out until the middle of February. So now they take the lead and I own is good and don't outcome count Manhattan. I think it's going to be a war all year. I think it's going to be a like really, really close battle. And we play Thursday night against Fairfield and I'm come because Fairfield has the best player in the league in Marcus Gilbert. The best singular player in the league is Marcus Gilbert for Fairfield. You guys are one in six on the road. And I know yeah. that's a little inflated because you played at Duke at Wisconsin. Yeah, that's all right, but I don't really buy that. No, it's it's not good. We're one in six on the road. Any fear that on the road you guys aren't as good? Yeah, we're obviously not as good. We're one in six. What's the reason? What I mean, a math it, genius it, or something it, over there? It, it, what is this, a beautiful mind part two? Does that yeah, we're not great on the road. We're one in six. <laughs> A beautiful mind, part two, comes so, to Albany so or wherever what, what we are. Well, why, yeah, why are you about the Patos? Those? What's wrong on the road? Well, whoa. God bless. Who, yeah, but we beat. No, we have a neutral win too. I think. Yeah, we six. Seven, we have nine wins, so we're missing something there. Yeah. Uh, let's roll. Well. Anyways, yeah, <laughs> it's hard to win on You're the road. No neutral. It's hard to neutral win. sites. It's I'm hard to win on the road. It's hard to win on the road. Okay, we get that, but. We're battling. I mean, we lost. A guy hit five three. People get excited to play Sienna. Sienna is a name that comes into the gym. There's going to be more fans of Cornell than there were. The kid from Cornell hit five threes in the last eight minutes of the game. I wish he didn't. He did. We lost by one. Um, it's hard to win on the road. It's hard at the mid major level to win on the road. You just don't buy games. You know, you just don't play. You know, it's a tough, tough to go on the road and win. We travel a great distance. I don't want to get into the schedule, but. We play St. Peter's. They had an extra day of rest, and we went to them. We played Friday night. Then we go on the road. There's a lot of little factors, but we got to get a little tougher. I'll, I'll tell you that right now. We okay. mentally tougher to win on the road. You have to really play. In other words, you can play 36 minutes and win at home. Does that make sense? You you can play a little less at home and still win. The crowd on the road, it's stuff. like 40 minutes. You know the refs. And then I'm not saying that. It's just it's usually sixty forty refereeing, and I mean that in the best sense. Oh uh, no, you don't say. I'll say it. the refs they cheat. They, they, do they, don't, home cheat. they don't cheat. They no, don't I know cheat. you don't understand. I'll say it. A little yeah, home cooking. It's a little human emotion, yeah. right? Yeah. In, other, in other words, there's a few things that are against you on the road, and you have to stay together, really tough and tight, and you can't. Oh, man. And when things go wrong, and okay, we lost to Vermont. We were tied with Vermont with five minutes to go. They just beat Harvard. We we lost in by one to Cornell. We lost. By four to St. Peter's, although I wasn't really proud of my of our performance, which I was the leader of. That was my fault. We lost at St. Peter's. But we just lost in triple overtime and had the ball twice to win it. It just didn't go our way. But we're trying real hard, and we, and we miss Marquise Wright because Marquise Wright makes a lot of little plays that show up in those games. 
but it's this is the mid major high level, and I'm not here to cast aspersions on other people's conference, but the MAC is really tough. There's a reason we're the 18th ranked, 17th ranked conference every year. There's no gimmies. Everybody's good in our league. There's great coaches. It's an above the rim athletic league. Ref sheet on the road. <laughs> <laughs> the refs are actually all really good guys that all play the hoop. It's just human nature. You're probably going to, in other words, if you get it, if you shoot just a few free throws less at, on the road, I'm like, that's even. Right. In other words, these are just things you try and plan for, but. We had a couple of chances to win the game, and we couldn't quite pull up. We were up 10-2 to because of my outstanding coaching game plan. <laughs> so what do you want from me? I got him there. I like no, I'm just yeah. kidding. Like yeah. No, no, no. It's just it's just, it's a 40-minute. To win on the road, Division One basketball is really tough. In you got to play conference. every second. And every we just, second. we're coming up a little short, but we're learning. G- Jimmy Pazzo, Cena Saints men's basketball coach, thanks to All-Star Wine and Spirits. Tom Coughlin had his uh, going-away press conference this morning, Jimmy. I want you to hear uh, this one. Yeah, it takes some accomplishment to get it done, but it's more about the sacrificing the day in and day out grind getting to know people knowing who they are how consistently they are they perform how tough are they how tough are they we've lost a little bit of that in our game i got a toothache i'm out of the game what you got a what a stiff neck i got a stiff neck 24 hours a day every day of my life the hell has that got to do with playing do you run into that I just admire his honesty, but that's because he has a lot more money than I do and doesn't need another coaching job. <laughs> and he doesn't need to recruit either. If I had the cash he has, I'd be saying the, tell the, to tell the truth. No, he, what he's saying do is... Do you get some of that with today's generation? Um, college is different. We don't, first of all, that's the most physical game. Second of all, the concussion protocol, which I totally agree with. Totally. Right. I totally agree with but that. But I, I don't think he's talking about major injury. He's no, talking no, about no, little, no, like... No, I know he's not, but in other words... I got a hangnail. I, I don't think a, it's a hangnail. I'm just saying, guys... Little are, hammy. Got yeah. Guys are being... And, and guys are playing for contracts, and, and it's a big business now, and there's more people in your ear, and he's 69, so he's a... He's a nut. He's almost part of the, that guy's close to being part of the greatest generation. Right. In other words, I'm I'm like two generations removed, but like I think our guys we we have got Levon Long plays hurt all the time. JV on Ogan Yimmy never complains. We've had a lot of guys banged up to play hard that play our all right, what, what do they used to say? Either you're injured or you're hurt or whatever. There's a, there's a difference between being uh, hurt or injured. Right. Uh-huh. In other words, but I, I I don't know if that was just a shot at some of the of, of the millennials or the team doctors or the agents. Well, Tell him not to play. Patsos, he Armin has crushed me on this show for two years now because I have said that Coughlin doesn't like that Odell Beckham Jr. takes the training camp off with hammy injuries. He has a hamstring injury, both training camps so far. And I have said, I think Coughlin's mad about that. I think that's a shot at kids who are like, I'd rather ride the yep. bike today. Yep, what uh, do you do? Right. Look, I, the only thing, I got an argument with someone about Beckham the other day. The guy hasn't gone to the playoffs. Let's not make him a Hall of Famer yet. Okay, you know who I liked? My favorite player on on the Ravens. You understand he's off to the most prolific start of any wide receiver ever. I don't care. He hasn't gone to the playoffs. He's yet. already surpassed I Randy Moss. I don't care. I'm just telling you. I don't care. Like it's my, I don't care. I believe that. Right, I don't care. You're wrong. Right right now? We, yeah. You know why I have Lynn Swan's jersey? Because he won Super Bowls. Hey, you know what? J.J. Watt right now is the best defensive player ever to play the game. Really? I think Ray Lewis is. Well, I, I'm sorry. Well, JJ sorry, my Watt, guy has two rings. John, How many rings does your guy have? In four years, my guy's got more two. accomplishments. I don't care. When he gets one, call me. My guy has two rings and a statue in front of the Ravens. Two defensive MVPs and two JJ years. J.J. Watt. No one else in the NFL has players. done that. No he's one else a baby, the, too. He's done more in the first four years than any other defensive well, player no, no, ever Statistically, in the NFL. not about yes. winning. No, that's what Correct. Coughlin's talking about. You're completely wrong. <laughs> You're completely There's wrong. only one How? stat that matters, wins. How? In that league, show me W's. No. I'm, I'm talking about individual players. I'm not talking the about The guy teams. that helped the Ravens win the Super Bowl was the, was, the, was the receiver they let go, and I'm just drawing a blank really quick. Uh, Quad Rishmael? No, no. To the first oh. Super Bowl that went to the Niners. He was like a wide receiver, a strong... Oh. Uh, well, no, Tory Smith. Oh, oh, no, Anquan Bolden. I love Anquan Bolden. Winner. Yeah. I'd rather have him than Odell yeah, Beckham. He's Cardinals way better than Odell Ravens. Beckham. Way better than Odell Beckham. Why is... Because his playoff record's a lot better. Oh, come on! I will say this about hey, Bolden. Hey, that's why it's a great... Bolden you know what? broke this his face and came back and played. a great country, because I get to say what I like, and if you don't like it, too bad. It's a team game, though. I don't care. I'm not going to agree with you just because you have your own way. Wait, hey, no, wait, time wait. out. Ruben Randall can't play up to number two par wide receiver. Victor Cruz is out, and that's Odell Beckham. Oh, what a tough, fault. great... What a great player Victor Cruz is, too. What's he done? He's, he's yeah. got a Super Bowl. Yeah, pretty good. He does. Yeah, you want to talk about <laughs> and then stop playing. And then stop oh, playing. He blew his he had knee an injury. Out. Yeah. What are you going to go talk about? Two years in a row. Me? No, I like Victor Cruz actually. Yeah. But uh, you know what it is. You know what it is. Really, I don't mind. 
Uh, this is me and me. We're just going at it because I love yeah. the Ravens. No, absolutely. Here's what's going on. I don't mind the win. I don't mind the fashion shows and the shoe ads and all that. Like Curry, shoulders. Like Curry's unbelievable because yeah. he still plays so hard. Or whether it's LeBron or Kobe, yeah. or Larry Bird. I know I'm old. I just. Beckham hasn't won at all, and all he's doing is fashion shows and hair and shoes, and maybe that makes me an old guy, but I think winning counts. I'm not talking about the one bad game he had. I, I actually forgive him. I, don't, I didn't judge him on the bad game. You're with not the, concerned about Odo Beckham Jr. Uh, with the Seahawks guy? And Josh Norman? Oh, yeah, with the, with the, with, with Panthers. Kansas, the Panthers game. Not really, because it's a one-game thing. I think he's a real talent. I just think you got to win, you know? I just... Whether it was Otis Anderson for the Giants, I thought he was a real grinder. Yeah. Um, Just met him recently, by the way. Did you? I bet yeah. he was great. Whether it's Fantastic. Thurman Thomas and those guys from the Bills, okay, they didn't win the Super Bowl, but they got a oh, million four playoff. Four years there, though. Right, you know, that's what I'm you, talking you about. But, but here's the society we live in. Let's make this great player some guy that hasn't won, and Kevin Durant is part of that crew. Sorry. Call like I see it. Your guy, Dirk and Dallas, winner. They won it all. They went to two finals, right? Oh, so he's a bad guy if he doesn't win the championship. I didn't say he's a bad guy. I said, Dirk, put up a championship and went to two finals, right? Is that correct? Yes. That's a lot different than some guys who think they're great players and they can't get out of the first round of the, of the NBA playoffs. Sorry. That's fine. It's more of a team sport in the NFL well, than it is in basketball as well. Good point. I'm just, I'm just no, saying. Yeah, but you're talking about, indi just saying you're talking about individual value, stuff. I value championships. He's talking about, champions. about, talking about I team I value stuff. championships correct. on your resume. I think David Ortiz should get in, not because of how many home runs he hit or anything, because he ended one of the greatest curses almost single-handedly, brought uh, it back up with another win, and brought I, it back up with a third You know, I was with you, you right love Ortiz. It. You don't like him? I hate Ortiz. You know, you're, you're hate talking to pinstripe pants. Well, what are you also, doing? I, I like the Yankees, too. I'm just saying, when you win like no, that, it comes. You don't like the Yankees like he obsesses over. You're talking to pinstripe pants. You Listen, can't come in here and Ortiz I, anything. I'm, it's... <laughs> it's January. I, I'm a full Yankees gear. Hey, I'm down with it. I'm just saying. I don't think you are. Uh, well, you just brought the, the studio. I'm just you saying. Just that's a name that isn't, he, isn't he going to be one of the guys that's heavily... No, let's be honest. Isn't he going to be one of the guys that's there heavily is. debated of whether he gets in or not? Yes. And I just think his three yeah. world championships are what makes him the difference from Jim Tomey, who I, think, I like. I think he's Who positive. has 500 home runs. And you're, he didn't test positive. He was never suspended or, or for Ortiz, it. Ortiz, no, because he tested in 2003 before it was part of the was program. Was he suspended? No, he was not suspended. Thank you very much. He, no further questions. He just said he is the most heavily tested athlete in baseball. Is he? Which means this is he a has pops. Show. He this has a lively fun. January fun. show. That's because you got to bring up crap about o Anquan Bolden, a mediocre <laughs> number. <laughs> that guy was, I love Bolden. that guy. He broke his face and came back like I, four games I later. I too, but I'm talking about the best ever to play the game. The Patos won. Anquan Bolden before Odell Beckham Jr. Take him all day over. Hell, you're drunk. Jimmy Patos, <laughs> seeing the Saints men's basketball coach. Hey, tell us about your game this week that big we should game, all go to in a big ten. game. I'll tell you what. Um, Thursday's a huge game. Marcus Gilbert is one of the best players in the league. Uh, we we play exciting brand. Saturday night at Niagara. The, Saturday night we were at the Times Union Center. Sixty five hundred people. Everybody's doing great. Craig's there. Craig Allen, if you want to meet him, is on the front court. Yes, all star wine um, and spirits. Tickets are available, and it's our last home game for a week. We're off for oh. a week. This is our break, but it's 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 a really fun event, and um, I really want to thank the fans and all the people at Sienna, John Dargenio and them for creating this atmosphere. I think being on your show has really helped us because more uh -oh. we're reaching out to more regular people Look. and you and them for creating this atmosphere. I think being on your show has really helped us. Because more, uh -oh. we're reaching out to more regular people. Love your support I, as well, man. I don't know. I, you guys are great. I love. It. I, I I come in fired up about your show because I listen and then I'm no, like, I got all these things to talk you know, about. I, I brought my it. daughter to the St. Bonaventure game. First one she did. She, she like it. it. She oh my, it's like she she watched about five <laughs> seconds of basketball. The rest of the time was there goes Jimmy. Jimmy's yelling again. I was just yelling, yelling at the coach. That's us. Is that the referee again? No, Bernie's there. We got, no, but it's, it's it's it is a, it's a great event and it's 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 a special thing that we have here in the community. I want to keep it going. I want to keep winning and and we are learning on the fly without um, Marquise Wright. And that's one thing I think that that's getting weird in sports is that when you have a guy injured, it, it just it's it's hard to adjust without him. You know, yeah, everybody you back that next man up. Yeah, exactly, and that's that, that's kind of a, that's kind of a lost thought. It's, and, it's, and what we have to do is is it's it's going to be a group next man up. We keep waiting for one guy to have thirty. Right. I'm not sure that's going to happen with our group. We have to win like the Yankees did this year, grinding by committee with relief pitchers. And I'm sorry we don't have more time because I want to talk about that relief pitcher they got from the Reds, <laughs> Raldis Chapman. <laughs> Go watch Sienna play Fairfield uh, Thursday night at Times Union Center. Jimmy Patsos, thanks to All Star Wine and Spirits, Coach Patsos. We love you. We'll do it again next week.